It's not much to look at now. Pier 94, a rusted, abandoned ruin where 52nd Street hits the Hudson River in Hell's Kitchen. But the city is partnering with three developers in hopes of making it Hollywood on the Hudson. This is promotional video of what it's supposed to look like, a $350 million state-of-the-art film and TV studio campus. More than a quarter of a million square feet. That will house six sound stages, production facilities, offices, and parking. The idea is to grow New York's limited studio space to make it more competitive with Hollywood. The project is not without its controversy. Many critics say the city is offering too sweet a deal, giving unnecessary subsidies to prime real estate right along the Hudson River. One of those subsidies, the city will pay for the capital improvements of the renovated Pier 94, not the developers. Nearby Chelsea Piers and the intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum each spend millions of dollars a year to pay for their own upkeep. The community was never opposed to the idea of a film studio uh, being brought to Pier 94. We just wanted a better financial deal for the city. At the park adjacent to Pier 94, mixed reaction to the project. I see it as a good thing. It's a little bit of an eyesore, that thing over there, I think it would be a nice addition. I think it would be better if we open it up to be more of like a recreational space. The project of Sunset Pier 94 Studios is expected to create 400 jobs over the next 15 years. It will certainly grow New York's film and TV production business. The project will include public amenities connected to the existing bike and park trail along the river. Groundbreaking is later this year and in 2025 expected to be lights camera action for the new Pier 94.